This video is sponsored by The Big Potato Incorporated. When our emperor is captured and our houses are destroyed, we have one person to blame. Fernando Cortez. Fernán Cortés was a Spanish nobleman living in Cuba, which then was owned by Spain. He wanted to go because the Spanish had heard of witches in the Mexico area. He also wanted to go for adventure. He would be sponsored Ooh. by Spain. Spanish heard powerful stories about witch natives in Mexico. He sailed from Cuba to Mexico City, Mexico. When Cortés arrived, the Aztecs were awaiting a god coming soon from the ocean. They were confused and assumed he was that god. This made Hernán Cortés eager to take over this area. He came at such a good time, he put the emperor of Mexico City in jail in a week of coming. Hernán Cortés was only 19 when he did this. Cortés held Mexico City under his control, but when Cortés had to leave for a short time, and he returned, the Aztecs attacked. The, the Spanish soldiers quickly ran away, stuffing their pockets gold before leaving. Many drowned in the city canal with all the weight of the gold. After the defeat, the Spanish were watching the Aztecs for about a year. The Aztecs were surrounded. The Aztecs couldn't get supplies for food, building, etc. Many were very weak or dead from smallpox. When the Aztecs started to starve, Cortes and his army attacked because they were weak. The Aztecs tried their hardest, but were defeated in 1521. Now all of Mexico was owned by Spain. All of the Aztecs were gone. An Aztec poet wrote a poem about this fallen empire. We are crushed to the ground, we lie in ruins. There is nothing but grief and suffering in, Mex in Mexico and Tlatelolco, where once we saw beauty and valor. Hernan ruined the Aztecs' homes. He put the emperor in prison and overall completely impacted the Aztecs and all of Mexico. Thanks for watching. Putter and Outers, ZP and RDK. Narrator, OJ. Director, Someone. Source, TCI. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.